Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials. My name is Nigel. This is another episode on the Camera 2 API tutorial series. And this one, we're not going to be working so much as on the Camera 2 APIs, but as on the Recycle View Image Gallery, Grid Gallery, or that runs along the top of it. Um, we, I did have a question on another tutorial series saying, oh, why can't you click on one of the images to get a full size image? And that might sound quite straightforward, but unfortunately in the Recycler view, there is no on-click position such on-click in the Recycle view itself. There is in the adapter, but not in the Recycler view. So I'm going to show you one method of where you can click on your Recycler view to get the position returned. And I'll need that position to work out the file to load that file into a image view. Anyway, let's make a start. Okay, so first thing I want to do, I'm going to create an adapter here. The adapter is going to be like the bridge that communicates between the adapter and the recycler view that runs on the UI thread. So I'm setting up an adapter just to communicate between the two. So let's create an adapter. And this is going to be an interface. And I'll just call this recycler view Click, position, interface. Bit of a long name, but I sort of know what it means. Add that to Git. You guys are want to want to get that from Git as well. Okay, add a, a method inside the interface. Uh, let's call it Git. Like a view adapter position and all I want it to pass back is position from this position I can work out the exact file that I'm going to want to load into an image okay that's all I need to do for this now let's go into our activity and head straight up to the top now I want to implement that I want to implement that interface we just created. That was a recycler view click position interface. Now let's implement the method from that interface. Right, here's the method here. Okay. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to pass the interface down into our adapter and I can do it like this so in the on create we actually create our adapter here so I can just pass now we're implementing implementing the uh, recycler view interface I can pass that down into our image adapter constructor like this and let me just do this in a few other places as well because we do call this in a few other places when we swap the adapter oh. let's carry on searching and from the last tutorial we've done another swap okay now let's go into that constructor here's the constructor here First thing I want to do is to create a member for my interface. I think I'll just call it member position interface. Now let's initialize that member in the constructor. We have to now add another argument to the constructor. and initialize that okay we now have that right now we need to set, set up an on click on our view holder that represents our image view here's a view holder here now 
implement an unclick. Okay, now we need to implement the method for that interface. Here it is here. Now we need to register this callback. We'll do inside the constructor here. So now register that. Now let's go to our on click listener. And we can call our interface that we said I remember for get recycle position and we can get that position from the actual view holder itself as such. So the view holder holds the position for that. Now let's go back into our activity and let me find that overridden interface method. Here it is here, get recycle view. And all I'm going to do at this stage is just show you the row number. That row number will give me the information of extracting the right file from the file directory. So I'm just going to just call the toast at this stage. And I want to display the position, so I need to set up an integer. To string, pass in the position. And make it short, time length, and we want to show that. Save that, okay. Now that, that's all I want to do at this stage. There's going to be a fair bit of work in the following tutorial where we actually create a new activity and display that image. So I just want to um, make sure I'm getting the right row here. Okay, I'm just going to run this now. And screen record so you can see what's happening. So we've got the camera application that you should all be familiar with. And if I click on the first one, I've got position zero. And click on the next one, position two. So this is now giving me the correct positions of where I can extract the right file file from the um, from the folder that contains all the files. And so when I click on this, this gives me the right row number. I can extract the right file and then load that into an image view that occupies the entire screen. And that will be done in a new activity. Okay, that's it for this particular tutorial. We basically had to, we learned how to create an interface to communicate with uh, the image adapter and our recycle view running on our main activity. So it's a healthy technique if you do need to communicate, uh, communicate data between, in this example, an activity and a, uh, an adapter. So that's it for this one. As you can guess, there's going to be a follow-on to this, which uh, will display the full screen in a new activity. And so that, that'll be a, at a later stage. And, and if you like these tutorials and you haven't already subscribed, click on that subscribe button down below. And as you can see, if you want to, I've got Twitter accounts, I've got Facebook accounts and other social media accounts. So if you're keen on following my activities and I do post on things like Twitter all the time, um, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, all the social media stuff as such. And that's all for this one. Bye for now. Okay, so we've got our camera application started. Put it on a coffee. And let's just click on one of these images. Scroll down. I don't know if I can find it any interesting image. And there it is.